When it comes to building war machines and equipment, China has always been one step ahead. Thinking about their overall development in technology and machinery fields, they have upscaled to a whole new level. And this time, China is back with the beginning of mass production of the most advanced warship ever. So, without further ado, let's get started with this video. The expansion of the People's Liberation Army Navy's fleet size and capabilities has stemmed from the upgrading of the PLA Navy. Researchers believe that China's surface fleet comprised of 57 destroyers and frigates in 1996, but just three of these boats were armed quite well with short-range surface-to-air missiles, rendering them practically defenseless against the modern anti-ship cruise missiles. The Soviet Romeo class of attack submarines, which began service in the 1950s, accounts for three-quarters of the fleet's approximately 80 attack submarines. During the previous few decades, China's navy has experienced quite a tremendous expansion. As of 2019, the Chinese navy numbered 335 ships, making it greater than the 296 ships that make up the deployable battle force of the United States Navy as of 2019. The fleet sizes of other major countries are smaller in comparison to the United States. The Royal Navy of the United Kingdom has a fleet of 75 ships, whereas the Royal Australian Navy has a force of only 45 ships. The number of new ships entering service is increasing at an alarming rate. From 2014 to 2018, China launched some additional submarines, warships, amphibious vessels, and auxiliaries than the total number of ships now serving in the Navy of Germany, India, Spain, and the United Kingdom combined according to the United Nations. China commissioned 18 ships in 2016, and at least another 14 ships are expected to be commissioned this year. It is very much possible that China may have 425 combat force ships ready by 2013 if it continues to commission ships at its current rate. A large portion of the Department of Defense's plans for modernization and upgrading is devoted to modernizing and strengthening its actual warfare capabilities, particularly in the South China Sea and the East China Sea, according to the Department of Defense. The Chinese government has responded quite actively by increasing the manufacturing of Tiangdao class Type 056 Corvettes. Since the first Type 056 Corvette was authorized in 2013, more than 50 Type 056 Corvettes have made their position in the service, with the last entering service in February 2020. The Chinese government is said to have completed work on the last Type 056 Corvette in early 2020 and will haul further manufacture to concentrate on improving its blue water capabilities. Numerous new ships are being launched into the Chinese military as part of the country's ongoing modernization efforts. The Chinese Navy is expanding its capabilities in a variety of other domains as well and also at a very fast pace. In 2017, more than 70% of the planned fleet was rated modern, compared to less than 50% in 2010 and less than 50% in 2010. Aside from that, China is also building larger ships that can accommodate some more modern armaments and onboard technologies. For example, the first Type 055 cruiser which entered service in 2019 displaces between 4,000 and 5,000 tons greater than the first Type 052D destroyer which entered the service in 2014. The Type 055 cruiser is a modernized version of the Type 052D destroyer, which went into service in 2014. The Type 055 is expected to be capable of transporting big cruise missiles and accompanying an aircraft carrier into blue waters, among many other things. The Nanchang Guided Missile Destroyer, the Navy's largest and most technologically advanced surface warship to date, was commissioned on Sunday morning in the port city of Qingdao, according to state media reports. As Beijing seeks to operate further from its borders and punch deeper into the Western Pacific, observers say the commissioning of China's first 10,000-ton class Type 055 destroyer, which is anticipated to assist aircraft carriers in battle groups, is a significant step forward. The commissioning of the destroyer, which was launched in June 2017, marks the Navy's transition from the third generation of destroyers, according to a statement from the Navy. In the areas bordering the Japanese-controlled Senkaku Islands, which are also asserted by China and known as the Diaoyu Islands, Chinese government vessels are regularly dispatched to the area by the Chinese government. 
Five additional type destroyers are said to have been introduced at the Dalian Shipyard in northeast China's Liaoning Province and the Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai, according to reports. As a result, analysts predict that China will develop an upgraded version of the Type 055 that will incorporate cutting-edge weapon technology, including an electromagnetic railgun. The Type 055, which measures 180 meters in length and 20 meters in width and has a displacement of more than 10,000 tons, has been referred to by the Pentagon not as a destroyer, but rather as a larger cruiser design. China is the only country known to be building a Type 055 warship, and more Type 055s are planned in the future. China is also the world's leader in terms of the total tonnage of ships that it has put on the open market currently. Combined, the ships launched by China between 2014 and 2018 weighed an astonishing amount of 678,000 tons, which was more than twice the combined tonnages of the navies of France and Spain put together. Importantly, the overall tonnage of the proposal retains below half that of the U.S. Navy's air gap, which is projected to be approximately 3 million tons. This disparity can be due in major part to the United States' deployment of 11 aircraft carriers, each of which can transport around 100,000 tons. In recent months, China has reportedly begun construction on another batch of Type 054A frigates for the People's Liberation Army or PLA Navy. Following the successful launch of several additional ships of this class, Chinese military observers announced on Thursday that the country's naval fleet would be significantly expanded in response to the need to improve the country's war preparedness in the region. According to an article published on Tuesday by the UK-based defense weekly Jane's, the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard in Shanghai officially unveiled the PLA Navy's 32nd Type 054A frigate based on images that have been circulating on social media. Both the ship and the third type 054 AP frigate for the Pakistan Navy were being built in the same dock, and the launch of both ships is expected to take place on July 31st, according to reports. As reported by the New York Times, an official navigational warning was issued by the Chinese Maritime Safety Administration that said that two ships will be launched on that day but did not specify which types of vessels would be released. The Belgian news outlet Navy Recognition reported on a Chinese Navy frigate, the PLA Navy's 31st Type 054A frigate, which was going to be launched in Guangzhou, the capital of South China's Guangdong province. The Shoushan was the first ship of the Type 054A to enter service, and it did so back in January 2008. The Type 054A frigate with a displacement of around 4,000 tons and the capability of performing anti-air, anti-ship, and anti-submarine operations is a well-balanced warship capable of conducting operations not just along the coast but also in the Persian Gulf. According to Xi Hung, executive chief editor of the Chinese magazine Shipborne Weapons, who spoke to the Global Times on Thursday, the ship uses fully developed technologies that have been proven reliable with the previous 30 ships, which have performed admirably in tasks such as escort missions in the Gulf of Aden and numerous military exercises over the years as shared by Xi. Due to its lower cost when compared to larger warships such as destroyers and because it can be mass-produced more quickly, the Type 054A is an excellent choice for rapidly expanding the PLA Navy's fleet, according to Xi who also noted that this will give China more time to evolve newer warships in light of the current situation, which forces the PLA to improve its combat preparedness. Chinese shipbuilding capabilities are expanding at a quick pace, which is allowing the plan to expand at an unprecedented rate. Favorable market conditions, as well as collaborative ventures with Japan and South Korea, enabled China to update its shipbuilding infrastructure and operational skills throughout the mid-1990s. China's shipbuilding capacity and capability have expanded, according to the Department of Defense, as a result of the modernization and growth of the shipyards. This includes submarines, surface combatants, naval aviation, and sea lift assets, among other sorts of military projects. In 2018, China overtook South Korea to become the world's leading shipbuilder by volume of orders. During 2018, China's shipbuilding industry accounted for 43.9% of the global market, and during the first three quarters of 2019, it accounted for 37.8% of global new orders. 
The breakout of the novel coronavirus pandemic caused a significant disruption in fresh shipbuilding contracts in early 2020, causing China to drop from first place in January to fourth place in February as a result of the disruption. But even in order of backlogs, China maintained its global leading position in February 2020, accounting for 35% of the global market total as of that month. With all that in mind, you can clearly see how they have drastically changed their overall production rate in terms of almost every sector. Do you think China has more plans to construct more ships in the near future? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that it encourages us to bring you more amazing content every day. That said, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.